Hey guys, it's Krista. It is Tuesday, May 7th, and I just wanted to pop on here real quick to um, just give you guys a quick update on um, this week in my pregnancy. Um, according to my app, I am 33 weeks today. Um, so I had my appointment this morning, and I wasn't really looking forward to this one. Um, I got a message yesterday on Facebook from my midwife. And she said, um, she was asking when I was coming in next, so I told her, I'll see you tomorrow. And she said, great, I have um, some news to share with you or to talk to you about. So I was like, okay, but I kind of suspected something was up. And I like, couldn't sleep last night. I was worried about like, what she had told me. And then um, one of the student midwives uh, called me in for my appointment and was, you know, doing all the, you know, asking the standard questions and... Um, you know, measuring my belly and all of that, and then, um, my midwife Trish walked in, and I smiled at me real big, and I'm like, okay, good news, right? And she's like, well, and, um, she proceeded to tell me that she's actually not going to be working at my birth center, um, I think this is her last week, um, she took another job offer, she's going to be helping to set up a, um, clinic for, um, I think kind of like low-income families um, and she's going to be setting up like a mid midwifery model um, care there in their their birth center um, so she's going to be giving women who probably um, haven't been educated on like all of the options that are out there as far as natural birth and wouldn't normally have the opportunity to have to experience that the opportunity to so it's a really neat thing that she's doing um, it's better insurance for her I think she has um, a son in his teens that's having like some heart issues so it was basically what was best for her family so I understand that but oh I was like really you couldn't wait till after I have the baby <laughs> um, so I was really bummed out when she uh, told that to me she did, I think probably more than half of my prenatal appointments when I was pregnant with Ori and she was at my birth for Ori and um, she was just amazing and after I had Ori she she signed up on Facebook just to keep up with me um, she didn't have Facebook before so um, I've talked to her over the last two years you know since having Ori just kept up with her she comments on my stuff and um, you know she did my postpartum checkups and helped me a bunch with breastfeeding in the beginning last time and she's been the primary person I've seen I think I've seen two other people um, out of all my appointments this pregnancy so um, and she's my favorite midwife she's just awesome and the, the way like she talks and her personality I'm just really really comfortable with her and so I just imagined she would be she would be there I wasn't expecting that at all. So she did say that she will be on call, like, I think once a month with Nativity, my birth center, for a few more months um, over the weekends. And also that there were a few people that she, you know, had kind of wanted to offer her services to. If, if her schedule allows, she said that I'm one of the people that she wants to be there for, whether she comes as a friend or a doula in whatever capacity. She said that she would make herself available if she could, and I and I said, good, because I was going to offer the same thing to you. Um, you know, I would really, really like you to be there. So, anyway, yeah. So, I got teary-eyed leaving my appointment, and on top of that, my, my due date has been set as July 2nd since the beginning, um, based off, like, my last menstrual period, when I went in for my seven week ultrasound um I was measuring behind so they it was like July 8th and then when I went in for my um, 20 week ultrasound I was measuring um to where my due date would be July 2nd again so um they just kept it as July 2nd and that's what it's been my entire pregnancy but I guess um like all three midwives were in the room with me today for a little bit and they were looking at my chart and the dates and all of that stuff and they said well technically because you don't really know when you ovulated and you have longer cycles due to PCOS we're just gonna say that your due date is sometime between July 2nd and July 9th and I'm like oh guys we're not supposed to be moving 
We're not supposed to be pushing it back. We're supposed to be pushing it forward. So it was like two things that I really didn't want to hear. That would mean that I would be 32 weeks and not 33 weeks. Um, and that just, um, that just means I have a whole another week to gain weight. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So, anyway, I was kind of bummed out leaving that appointment. Um, so I went to Sprouts, and I went, and I picked up some non-toxic um, baby detergent. Um, I can use, like, my homemade stuff. It's, it's not um, harmful. But I really like the baby-scented stuff, so I just got some for, like, the first few months I'll be using that. Um, it's seventh-generation baby detergent. And I also picked up a little, um, like, plug-in diffuser for, um, it looks just like a Glade plug-in, but it's for essential oils, so I got that because I wanted that for my birth um, to diffuse, like, some lavender and peace and calming essential oils um, for labor. And then I went to, where did I go? Oh, Hobby Lobby. Um, my project that I've been working on that I will finish today is... Um, a few weeks ago I bought uh, Noah's baby book and I've been trying to fill this out as much as possible um, before he's born that way you know I it's just more likely to happen and get done and be put together if I do it now as opposed to after he comes but there are a few pages in this um, that don't really apply to us like I'm, I'm not planning on putting his birth certificate inside this um, there's a whole page for like doctor's appointments records and we don't really go to the pediatrician I think always been like two or three times um and that was mainly because I just wanted to know how much she weighed and then there's a whole page for like immunization records and we don't immunize so um I just went to Hobby Lobby I took my little book and I just picked out some scrap pa scrapbook paper that kind of matches and I'm gonna put that inside that way I can um, utilize those pages in his book for something else and while I was there um I went ahead and picked up a, a little, or a big sister and a little brother iron-on decal um, for Noah and Ori. Um, I think that'll be cute, and it was a lot cheaper than like buying them on Etsy. I don't know, I may still buy them on Etsy. It just depends on how much, or on uh, how these turn out, but I thought they were pretty cute. So I got that. Um, I got a little white... Um, shirt for Ori for the iron-ons. I got two of those and then I have plenty of white onesies at home that I will use for um, for Noah. And then I got a little uh, ladybug iron-on for Ori. It was $3.99 and I had a 40% off coupon for that one. And then um, for Noah I got a little um, tie iron on. I thought this was super cute. It was a dollar ninety nine, so I'm just gonna iron that onto a little onesie for him. Um as far as other baby buys go, um I think I got I don't know if I showed you guys I got my um what is it called? Witch hazel um for making like pads for postpartum you put like what you douse them on witch hazel and some essential oils and you put them in the refrigerator or in the freezer not refrigerator, <laughs> and, um, you pop those out after delivering, you, you know, put them inside your, your underwear or whatever you're wearing, and it feels really good, it's, um, helps to heal down there if you have any tearing or just, it's a tra traumatic experience, so, um, I did that last time and it seemed to really help and just felt good, <laughs> so, um, I got that, and I ordered... Yay, I'm so excited. I ordered his baby bath towel from Whimsy Boo Baby, so I'll show that to you guys when that comes in. Um, oh, and another big thing. Um, this whole pregnancy, I've been like kind of bummed out because I had three baby showers last time with Ori. My work gave me one, um, but I'm not working anymore, so I'm not having a work baby shower. Um, my grandmother, who passed away, um, planned a family baby shower for me last time. And I don't have any other family to step in and do that here. So I wasn't having a family baby shower. And no one from my congregation had said anything or contacted me about having a baby shower. So this past um, uh, weekend when I had that mom's 
night out get together I gave all the moms their little you know goodie bags and um, I had them all pray over me because I I didn't know if I would have the opportunity to for us all to hang out again before I end up having the baby so they prayed for me and um, I guess that spurred conversation between the other moms and they were emailing each other back and forth and they left me out of it so I got a, a call yesterday from a friend and she just said that she wanted to let me know that the um, all my friends had been talking and that time had just kind of gotten away from them and they were wanting to put on a last minute baby shower for me because um, although I, I had a baby two years ago, it's a different gender, so I'm actually having a baby shower in a couple of weeks. Um, it'll be Saturday the 25th. Um, it'll be right after our services. Um, and my friend's hosting at her house. She just lives a few minutes from um, our congregation, so I'm super excited for that. I just, I wanted to celebrate this baby. It's been a difficult pregnancy and it's been um, hard not having my grandma here and it just feels kind of like the second time around no one's as excited as you are and I was kind of just feeling bad and guilty for that so I'm really happy that I'm ending up having a baby shower just just so I can have like the pictures and the memories and celebrate him like I had with Ori. So I did stay up late last night and kind of re revamp my um, registries because I, I purchased a lot of things already because I didn't think that I was going to be, you know, having one. Um, but I did update my registry for Target, um, um, Amazon, and um, what was the other? Oh, The Nurtured Family, which is like a local baby boutique that sells um, cloth diapers and natural baby things. So I've got those up and running and um, I need to work on my list for my friend of like who all I wanted to include and so that's exciting that really made my day I wasn't expecting that so anyway I've got uh, 20 minutes left to read a book before I have to go walk in and pick up Ori for Mother's Day out I will um, when I get home I will do like a little clip of a um, belly shot it's huge just warning you now um, and I will talk to you guys later bye